Hello, hello again, my T and Tarot family. And thank you guys for tuning into another episode. This is going to be a general read for my earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What's coming in ooh, ooh, for my earth signs? What do they need to know right now for their greatest and highest good? Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns, my earth signs. One last shuffle. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Energy is fluid, so feel free to flip it, switch it, put yourself where you fit up in it. Last but not least, any pronoun that I use, he, she, her, him, is speaking of masculine or feminine energy, unless otherwise stated. I don't own any rights to the music playing in the background. And um, if you choose to leave a negative comment of any sort, you will be muted and blocked, and it will be removed. Um, this is real life over here, guys. So you may hear the kids fighting. You're going to hear planes because I live next to the airport. And you're going to hear the fucking smoke detector, okay? Right. Okay, so we want to know what's going on for our Taurus, our Capricorn, and our Virgo. What's coming in for them? What do they need to know for their greatest and highest good? Okay, so the overall energy for you guys right now is to surrender. It says, I can release my need to control. So I feel like you guys are trying to control some things. The Spirit is saying it's time for you to release that, that control, that, that need to control everything. To make things work how you want them to work. Release the stubbornness here. Okay, Spirit, tell me more. For my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What? Uh -oh. What do they need to know right now for their greatest and highest good? What do they need to surrender besides this control? And I do feel like some of you guys may be trying to do this right now. You are in the process of, of letting go of your control issues that need to try to control everything. To manipulate things to work out for how you want them to. I do need them to jump spirit. Tell me more. What do my Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo need to know for their greatest and highest good at this time? What else do they need to know, spirit? Okay. Spirit says you need to be working on your self-care right now. Loving yourself, nurturing yourself, putting um that care into you. Releasing what no longer longer serves you. Whatever you've been putting that energy into, you need to take that energy back from that situation, person, thing, and put it into you. Surrender. Stop trying to control the situation. You cannot control other people. Spirit says it's time for you to work on your emotions here. Okay? Surrender to your emotions. Surrender to your feelings. So that you can heal and move forward here. Like it says, changing your mind. So there are some things that, that you may need to change your mind about. Or your, your mind has may have been changed by something or somebody which has you in this emotional state. You may need to release somebody because you found out some things here, okay? The Spirit is saying, whatever this is that you're releasing, this person, this place, this thing, focus on yourself right now. Love yourself, right? Um, we have parental care. You could be talking to a parent. You may have to release some information that a parent may have given you. Some things that were taught to you that no longer serve you. Um, surrendering to old, I don't want to say old habits, but old beliefs. Releasing old beliefs here. Certain things that your parents grew up on are no longer things that you believe in here. For some of you guys, some of you guys could um, actually have to take care of a parent here and you're trying to figure out, um, do you bring this parent to stay with you? Do you put this parent in a home? Do you get this parent some type of nurse or something of that nature? And you're back and forth in your head. You're very emotional. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like um, a parent may be on life support or something of that nature and you keep going back and forth in your mind on whether or not. Do you keep this parent on life support or do you let this parent go? Okay, and it's very emotional for you right now. I feel like you're very stressed out here. You don't want to let go of this parent yet, but you're, you, you don't, it's like, I feel like, I'm hearing like they're in a vegetative state here. This is not for everybody, okay? These are direct messages. 
um and you're unsure do you pull the plug or do you keep this parent in this in this vegetative state here mm. for some of you guys i feel like you have a, a sibling a brother or a sister that you're going back and forth over you guys will keep going back and forth over how to handle the situation for some of you guys you've just lost a parent okay and you try to um i guess get funeral arrangements together between some siblings and you guys are going back and forth but it's very emotional it's very hard to release okay um you guys could be fighting here the siblings could be fighting because someone is trying to control everything spirit says release control okay that was a specific message for a certain set of people um capricorn taurus and virgo i'm gonna get back to the overall because this is not for everybody guys okay <coughs> excuse me my throat chakra here um what deck here this one here okay so that's not for everybody for others this could be you could be the parent and you need to, to work on loving yourself okay um concentrating on yourself here towards Virgo and Capricorn putting love back into you let's jump into some tarot here so we can get some clarity on what's going on here Okay, Spirit, can you clarify what my Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns need to know for the greatest and highest good here? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What are they surrendering? Clarify surrender, Spirit. Clarify surrender. Okay, so um, you could be working too much here, okay? You, need, you may need to take some time to rest and relax here, okay? Put some, some effort into self-care here and not so much on work. You could be just focused on your money, working, 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 working here towards Capricorn and Virgo, right? You could be working to block out these emotions, right? Because I have the Ten of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So you're focused on working, could be focused on money, but you're trying to block out these emotions. Spirit says you need to... Focus on loving yourself right now. Putting some love and care into you. Yeah, so there's some type of um, forward movement here. Coming in quickly here. Tell me more about this chariot here and the self-care spirit. Four swords. Yeah, so spirit says you need to move forward, move towards healing yourself here. Healing whatever this is that, that these emotions are here, okay? Whatever this emotional problem is, whether it's with a parent, whether it's with your money, whether it's with somebody else here, it's time to heal. This could be with a feminine divine energy here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, just a feminine energy that you need to heal from. Or you could be the feminine energy that needs to heal. Tell me one more about this chariot and the four of swords. Judgment, yeah. So whatever happened to you, whatever this is that you're surrendering, whatever this emotion that really fucked you up, changed your mind about a person or a situation, changed your mind about a parent. Um, you could even be the parent, right? And something came out that changed your mind about this situation here. Spirit is saying it's judgment is coming in. It's going to be in your favor here. Um, I do see you moving forward quickly towards this healing here. Focus on you right now. Okay. Focus on your spiritual journey. Focus on your healing. Focus on physical mental and spiritual is what i'm healing i mean hearing healing spiritual mental and physical healing is what i'm hearing okay if that makes sense could be dealing with a cancer here but there is some some forward movement here quickly okay as you focus on yourself and you release the things that no longer serve you thank you for this emotions okay yeah so this could have to do with some type of relationship here okay it's time to let go of this relationship you put in the work but you're not getting the emotion or the emotional fulfillment back here, okay? Spirit says it's time to release and put this love into yourself. You're putting all this emotion, all this energy into something. You're working on something, and you're not getting um, equal give and take here. So I feel like you're changing your mind about this person now because you're not getting equal give and take. Um, you could be a parent. You and this person could co-parent. You could have kids together here with this parental care. Um, and now you're trying to figure out how you guys are going to co-parent here because you're done with this relationship because you're, you're done putting in the work because you're not getting equal give and take here. Okay? This person is not giving you back the same emotions that you're putting into this relationship. You, you could have possibly thought this was going to be something long-term, stable, and committed here. And 
that's not what you got and spirit said it's time to release and to surrender here yeah there um some type of communication or some forward movement some travel is coming in here like i feel like you're walking away from this spirit says if you haven't walked away it's time to walk away walk away from this this relationship here that's causing you all this emotional conflict here it's time to surrender it's time to move forward and to heal yeah four of cups here no longer accepting the offer you're no longer accepting this offer or you're no longer even giving this offer. You're no longer giving into this. Or your person is not accepting your offer. So why are you still giving? Why are you still trying to work on something that this person is not even accepting? They're not giving you equal give and take here. Spirit saying it's time to walk away. You guys know your story. You know you know which is your story here. Okay, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But it's time to surrender here. Tell me about this changing your mind for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. Thank you. Page of Cups here. There could be children here. Yeah. Um, this person could also want to come in and apologize, offer some type of love here after some type of tower moment. Okay. So I do feel like, um, there could be some type of change behind some children because it's parental care here. Change your mind about some children. There was a tower moment. Okay. There was some type of deception behind some children here. Cause if it wasn't a child, there was some type of deception behind some love here. Some type of love offer. Okay, some truths came out here. Yeah, could have been with the empress here, the baby mother, a baby father here. There was some type of lies and deception here. I told you it's with a kid. There was sometimes a lies and deception that changed your mind. Some type of tower moment that went down. Some some secrets came out here about some type of children here, some type of child. Now you're trying to figure out how to co-parent or get out of some type of parental care here. The spirit says it's time to release this here. Okay, guys, you've been putting the work and you've been giving your money here. Um, but you're not getting the emotions, okay? You're not getting what you're supposed to get, equal give and take in this relationship. This person could have lied to you. They're not they're not accepting your offer here, or you're not accepting their offer. You could either want to apologize or they want to apologize, or this could be behind some type of children here. But I do feel like this is a baby's mother or a baby's father situation that you're dealing with here, or a husband or a wife with this hair font. Tell me about this parental care for my Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgos. Yeah, nine of cups. You could have thought this person was going to be your wish fulfillment here, okay? And it didn't turn out that way. It turned out to be a bunch of lies and deception. Yeah, and now you want to move towards your future, who you feel is your wish fulfillment here. You, you're, you're waiting for your ships to come in, and you're moving towards, you're moving towards wish fulfillment. Tell me more about this parental care history. So I feel like you're working on yourself, okay? Like you're the parent, you're giving parental care to yourself. You're walking away from whatever this lies, deceptions was about these children here. Yep. And you're moving towards the King of Cups here. Could have been Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you're moving towards to see wish fulfillment here. But you're going towards this love, okay? That you find is your wish fulfillment. You want to go in and offer this compassionate new beginning here. Or your person wants to. But there was a lot of lies and deception, cheating, sneaking around in this in this relationship here. So what what does my Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo actions? What do they need to do? Okay, so right now your guard is spiritually and block yourself from this emotional. Remove yourself, okay? Remove yourself and block contact from whoever this is that put you in this emotional strain here. Whatever this issue is with this child here. Um or this apology, because it may not even be a child. It could just be someone coming in and offer their love. But there was a lot of lies and decep deception in, in this situation here. Spirit is saying cut it out. Block this person out. Heal. Yep. Because, yeah, block the burden. This person is a burden. It's time to release your burdens. Uh -oh, hold on. So if you cut up over here. Oh, yeah. This person stabbed you in the back several times. This person is sitting around just watching. Yeah. It's time to heal your heart. It's time to release this and, and heal from this heartbreak. Your spirit saying your action is to move on. To surrender. To let go. Quit putting work in where you're not getting equal give and take back here. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Yes. You have balance coming in here. Something is justice is coming to serve. Justice is finna be served, okay? Karma is coming for all those involved. 
karma karma it, it, you can't miss karma okay so karma is coming for everybody involved in the situation everybody involved in the story everybody involved is finna get karma here justice is finna be served so if you put out good you're finna get good back if you was negative and, and nasty and doing nasty shit to people guess what karma on their way for you baby yep nine of one someone's burden here okay um guarded defensive towards whatever the situation is spirit said guard yourself Remove yourself from whatever the situation, whatever this emotional conflict was, whatever this person did to you, it's time to remove, okay? Stop trying to control. Stop trying to put work in with somebody who's not trying to work with you. Speak your truth and clarity here, okay? You have a new beginning. Make the offer towards the new beginning, the wish fulfillment. You know where your heart truly is. Go towards where your heart truly is and stop playing with this person who is not giving you equal give and take here. Yeah. Okay, that's what's coming in for my Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos. Hopefully, this resonated with you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscription button. Click the bell so you know my videos come out when I go live. Also, if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you, babies, for all the support. For all you guys who have left me so many generous donations, and all the great tips. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You know who you are. I send love and light back to you 10 times full, guys. And if you'd like to book a personal or leave me a tip or donation, the information to do that is down below. You can go directly to my appointment book and book through the link. Okay. And um, I look forward to talking to you guys. Okay. If you, especially if you want to go deeper onto your situation. So until next time, love, light, and peace, my peace. Mwah! As long as you got me, I got you. See you soon.